I was just talking to uh, an AMC YouTuber, a popular one, and um, I don't want to mention his name because he, you know, he didn't give me his permission, and it was a private message between you know us. So just out of respect, you know, a common courtesy, I don't want to uh, mention his name. But we were kind of talking about a lot of things. You know, one of the things we were talking about is on YouTube, we're all entertainers. At the end of the day, what we do is entertainment. I just want everyone to understand that. And that pretty much goes for everybody. <laughs> it goes for all YouTubers, especially stock market YouTubers or finance YouTubers, right? So it's entertainment. None of us are financial planners. I certainly am not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. But when does it cross the line? When is it no more entertainment? And now it becomes very serious. So what happened with me, and again, I'm not, I am not blaming anyone. I am not putting the blame on anyone. I'm just stating facts. Is that police reports were filed. <laughs> okay. And CPS, Child Protective Services, were called. You know, claiming some pretty ugly things like I starved my children. Where they went to my kid's school. <laughs> you know, and my, my children had to sit down with this scared look on their face. Like there's a, you know, with the Child Protective Service representative and the principal present. So that was a big eye opener for me. It, re it really was. See, what I was doing beforehand okay, as the ape father, was I was really, really very personal, very, believe it or not, I know you don't realize it, I took a major step down. People are still saying I'm very personal. I took a major step down. If I could turn back time, you understand, and if I could do it all, all over again, I would be so private. I really would, but I can't do that. That's it. It's like you said, once you make videos, once you're on the internet, it's forever, <laughs> so there's nothing I could do about that, unfortunately. But if I could turn back time, I would be much, much more private, but I can't. So now all I'm trying to do is continue. See, I know you all think I'm crazy. I don't mind so much, including my family and videos, because, you know, it's kind of like, you know, when you watch TV shows and you have the whole thing, like the Kardashians. Now, I'm not saying I'm the Kardashians. <laughs> I certainly do not have their money. But I'm just trying to make a point. A lot of times you see shows that include families and it has the whole family, you know, has the wife, the husband, the kids, the, in some cases, the grandmother, the dogs. So we kind of became known, all of us in our own rights as the ape family. So I don't, I, even though a lot of people get upset at me over this, I don't mind including my kids in a video as long as it's innocent, as long as it's innocent. I don't mind including my wife my mom, my dogs, I'm okay with that. But when it comes to serious issues, okay, that's all I'm going to say, both family serious and both financially, you know, finances, I now took a major step down because too many things could be held against you, okay? When you publish videos, when you, when you disclose certain things and in my case, I got beat. I got beat up real bad with a lot of personal family things, and it's my own fault because I'm the one disclosing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, such as just just to give you an example, like you know, my children's trust, and you know, my AMC shares and my portfolio, and you know, I'm the one publishing all of this stuff. It's like you know what I mean. So I took a major you know, downward approach, meaning like, I'm trying to keep it more entertainment, my channel, I know it pisses a lot of people off, because it's kind of like once you feed somebody, you know, the steak, they want more. You know, what's the old expression, right? You give a, a mouse a piece of cheese, it wants a glass of milk. So I get it. But I have to be careful moving forward. I have to be careful with certain financial matters with certain family matters. I really do because you have no idea the calls I got regarding you know, my kids trust and, you know, police reports and child protective services. So I definitely have to take it down because that's not entertainment. You understand? Police reports is not entertainment. Child protective services is not entertainment. 
these are very, very serious matters. And there are children out there that are in need. My kids are very well loved and well taken care of. I mean, me and my wife and my mom, and we love, this is our family. Our family is our number one priority and we love our kids and we want a bright future for them and we want the best for them. So, but there are children out there that are in serious need. And it really is a disgrace, unfortunately, that people resort to using these agencies that are that are really needed for children indeed, that are out there, they need them. They really need to help these children, but they use it as a tactic when they don't like someone. They don't like someone's personality. They don't like something about someone. They use it as a kind of revengeful uh, tactic. When, when in fact, I'm a great father, my wife is the greatest mother, my mom is the greatest grandmother, you know, and we're a very happy family, but that's just the world that we live in. When someone doesn't like you, they'll attack you in ways that sometimes are not only, in my opinion, illegal, but, you know, not, not even moral, like they, they're immoral, they, they, they have no care, you know what I mean? Just no, nothing, they'll scoop to the bottom, to the bottom of the barrel, to the bottom of the ocean. But I just wanted to make this video because I honestly don't mind it when people make videos about me that are, you know, breaking my balls or ripping me apart or, you know, insulting me because that's part. Look, I know I'm not famous. See, a lot of people, they 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 yell at me. They're like, you're nothing. You're, you're just you're just, you know, some guy from Jersey or a fat Italian guy. from, And you're right. I used to be from Brooklyn. That's where I was born and raised. Now I live in Jersey. But you're right. And, and I admit that to you. I am not a successful YouTuber, <laughs> you know, by no means, you know. You know, what do I consider a su successful YouTuber? Lou is successful, you know. Lou's making a, a pretty substantial amount of money on YouTube. Um, Matt Cause is a successful YouTuber, even though I don't like him. You know, Trey is. You know, a lot of them are. You know, you can review Dork, you know, on the AMC. There's a lot of them. OK, I mean, I mean, if you want to go to like the next level now and you're talking about people like Mr. Beast, I mean, oh, my God, that's super success. That's like next, next, next level success on YouTube. So I am nowhere in the I'm not even in loose category right now. I'm in no one's category. You know, I have I have to build I have to build up my channel and I have a lot of work to do. But yeah, I, I, I do inspire to become a successful YouTuber. And I understand that part of that is you have to be willing to take the punches. It's like when you're in, even if you're in the public eye in a small way, like I'm not in the public eye in a huge way. I'm not no Mr. Beast, right? But I still have a substantial amount of people who watch me. I do. I mean, I don't, it's not like, you know, a gigantic audience, but it's still a substantial audience. So I understand that there are certain things that come with that, which is you have to be willing to take abuse. You have to be willing to take ball breaking. And that's all fine. You could call me whatever you want. I mean, it's a, it's a sin when you get the family involved, when you get the wife involved. But see, but once again, my wife understands and my children understand that if they're in the videos, they might be subject to abuse too because my son has a YouTube channel. And I tell him this all the time. I said, listen, if you're on YouTube, there is a potential you're going to have people who love you, but there is going to be a potential you're going to have people who hate you, right? So he's like, yeah, I don't understand. I'm just trying to be myself. I know, but unfortunately... There are people who are not going to like you and you have to be willing to take abuse. And there are people that abuse him. It's terrible. It really is. It's 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 a shame. I mean, but sometimes it's from, in all honesty, it's from pe children his own age. It's not just adults that are psychos, <laughs> you know, that are that are insulting a child. But, you know, it's it's just part of the game. My wife understands this. My wife has a YouTube channel. You know, my uh, my daughter plays around with it. You know, she she I, I don't know what she does. I think she does tiktok or shorts or whatever she she plays around with it too but and she she's she's excellent by the way she's so talented with just art and with uh and by the way um she she wants to do something you know uh, mad jack asked her you know she mad jack was gonna give her ten dollars you don't have to give her ten dollars we love you mad jack but she's actually going to be doing a drawing very soon you know amc to pluto you know amc moaz she you know my daughter agreed to do that she does want to do that uh, from the goodness of her heart, because she she loves her a family just like a father and her mother. Um, but we all understand that entertainment, unfortunately, comes along with negativity sometimes. But as long as it's not serious, do you understand what I'm saying? 
You, you, you know, it's words of word. You ever hear that expression? What's that expression? Words, uh, sticks and stones. I'm trying to think because I heard this from Jackie Cleason. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. I don't care what you say. You, you know what I mean? You could call me the most fattest, ugliest, disgusting, pathetic, hairiest, bold, you know, loser, you know, FOMO father, worst investor on Wall Street, you know, dumbest ape or whatever you want. <laughs> you could call me and say whatever you want. But when police reports are filed that are, you know, false police reports, let's, let's be honest, they're, they're not real. When false child protective services reports are filed, that's where I draw the line. And that's where I have to be more careful and I have to be less transparent because there are too many people out in this world, unfortunately, that don't want the best for you, that want to see you suffer and use everything that you say against you. It's, and that's why you got to be very, very careful what you say. And moving forward, I am going to be more, more careful.